but I'm excited to see DOG play. I haven't seen him play in, in a little while here, so. All right, and this is going to be a really cool TVZ. I'm just, <laughs> I love TVZ, and that's, you know, the first two games that we've been able to cast here at IPL5 have been TVZs, so I'm pretty excited. So let's go swap over here to the main screen. Spawning over here on the left-hand side from Team... Uh, oh, wow, I just totally fly. <laughs> <laughs> it is Beyond Prime from Team Prime, our blue Terran player. Yes, Mr. Ghost King himself. And spawning down, down the right-hand side, uh, we do have from Team MVP, which is actually DRG, uh, which is currently listed as Team A, but of course is DRG. Yeah, their NA account here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and every single time we've, I think we've done uh, Terran versus Zerg, it's left and right, left Terran, right Zerg. That's so. how it should be. Yeah, of course, obviously. Obviously, yeah. left-handed Blue people. team's always better. <laughs> um, the home team. <laughs> but, uh, so we have supply depots going down here. It's just standard stuff. Um, and, you know, we've seen uh, that DRG uh, was in Code S, got mm -hmm. knocked out in the round of 16. So, um, you know, he's a really good opponent, but Bjorn also in Code A, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, we do have two GSL champs here. And, of course, this is IPL5, so we have so many oh. just GSL champs. We have the GSL champs mm -hmm. and uh, the Code S uh, finals as well. So, you know, we have so many amazing things going down here at IPL5 this weekend. Yeah, and a lot of people are saying, you know, how come we're not seeing more and more Terrans? But listed in this event right now, it looks like the Protoss are the ones who are not showing up. We have 29 Zergs, 23 Terran, and 17 Protoss. So, you know, hold your fingers for Naniwa or give them a little bit of good luck because, I mean, they are definitely, definitely the ones not showing up here this weekend. Yeah, and Naniwa just got taken out by Scarlet. Yeah, 2-1 right? it looks like, and I really wish I could have watched that series. I imagine it was just as good as I expected. Hey, man, I'm pretty excited to do this series at least. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> um, and other tournament results, Puck just played, correct? And uh, he took out... I can't remember now. Uh, well, I think he, he did win uh, first Nurcio. Yeah, yeah, that's right. First, it was he just won against correct. Nurcio. So yeah. um, just a little bit of triple tournament updates. Of course, you can watch all three streams at once. This is stream three. Uh, this is going to be community casters and the sorts, and mm -hmm. uh, you can catch me on stream two later, and then you'll be on stream three all day, right? Yeah, I'll be on stream three. I'll have a little bit of a break, and I come back in the dinner time. But right now, actually, again, these Zergs are being so frustrating with their their drone micro. Look at this. I might actually get an SCV kill. This will oh. be down to 10 HP. Very nice micro from Beyond, just making sure uh, not to lose his SCV there. And the second one is now starting to take a little bit of a beat down, and it looks like you might actually get another kill here. Will he actually be able to? Down to 15 HP, down to 10 HP, all oh, the way to the last second. Down to the last. <laughs> Wire five health on the SCV, and it looks like DRG is going to be <laughs> perfectly fine with pulling back with that SCV. And uh, with five health, man, he is just playing. He's going to have so many weak SCVs yeah. on his main mineral line. Imagine if he comes through with Mutalus in a while here with all these red and yellow SCVs. Another but one. There we go. Ten. Having to pull down a fourth SCV or third SCV. But now DRG is going to get up in the main. Doesn't see any gas guys or sees <gasps> the first barracks. And now he's just going to return home with that drone. That drone is a champion, obviously, just doing so much damage. And there we go. Actually, Excuse me, there is a gas geyser, and it looks like he actually has started mining from it. So you think we're going to see a quick factory again? Yeah, I believe we're probably going to see another uh, factory coming out as soon as it hits 100. There we go. We have the SUV already ready already. Um Curious to see what his uh, his next moves are going to be. DRG himself has not started mining any gas. We got the space shark coming right down, saying hi shark. to the overlord. They're just you know <laughs> maybe a little bit of like a tail fin, like high five kind of action going down there. Um, you know the space shark is just he's all over all of the maps, mm -hmm. and I love the fact that he's still being included on all of them. He's like the only non-clickable or like one of my favorite non-clickable units. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. Some of those, uh, the neutral creatures that were like the little coyote looking thing, those things used to drive me crazy when I was playing against Zerg. I used to think Zerglings are coming by and it's just like this little teeny neutral creature on the edge of their vision. I'm kind of glad that I think they've taken the majority of them out of the maps, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, I remember back in Brood War, I used to see the the Kakarakuku, oh, yeah. and I would just instantly like flip out and be like, how does he have mutas at the three minute <laughs> mark? And uh, <laughs> um, I actually have a horrible thing to confess right now. Oh no! I I kill them. I'm I so kill glad neutral I'm not creatures. With you. I'm so I glad kill I'm them. With you. I you know like even the automaton, that little robot. I don't care. I kill him. Oh, I would too, actually, to be honest. It uh, looks like we're actually going up to a second gas geyser from beyond, and it looks like actually two extra barracks along with this factory. So we're going to see Bio coming out from him in the first game. As for DRG, taking a quick third. Does he have any gas geysers as of yet? Uh, no, does not look like... Oh, no, he does have one gas geyser because okay. um, he did just start his uh, metabolic boost upgrades here. 
uh, gives you wings. As gives I'm told. you wings. Does give you wings. Uh, we have you know queens coming out, of course, as well. And uh, just get into those wow. nice creep spread. Look at all the creep spread already. We're at the six minute mark, and he's already starting to go down that ramp there on Abyssal City. Um, he did uh, now an interesting thing. Beyond did make the full wall mm -hmm. off instead of that partial wall we saw from. Uh, yeah, and that you know Lucifron did, did cost him just a little bit, but it looks like Beyond's going to go for a normal factory Hellion opening. This guy. <laughs> and there's I would a neutral kill him. creature. You'd yeah. be dead. You too. Wow, they're everywhere. <laughs> At least you can't hit the space shark. But it looks like Beyond's moving up with the Hellions. He wants to try and deny some of this creep if he can, but DRG's not going to let that happen. He has several queens on the map right now. Could easily deny any sort of aggression. And he is just droning like a champ, getting a lair right now. And it looks like actually Beyond's going for a quick stem, of course, into a starboard. So definitely jumping up on tech real quick here. Yeah, and here come those queens trying wow. to deny those Hellions the ability to take out those creep tumors, getting down the cancel before anything else happens. And of course, if you do cancel it, that does make the uh, the other creep tumors uh, able to reproduce another creep tumor. <laughs> reproduce. Reproduce. <laughs> well, what else do you call it? It's not like it's. I mean, I Recreate? guess it's like some sort of uh, cellular dilution. I don't even remember the words anymore. I was so bad at chem bio. <laughs> But anyway, the Queen's still moving around, so still trying to get their Creep Tumors down. The Hellion's moving around. The Zergling's also uh, trying to keep some... Ooh, but a little bit of Hellion action up here. Yeah, of course, he's not going to be able to do too much here. There's no drones here. The Queens are coming in. They're very angry at these Hellions for attacking their hatchery, and now they are going to scare them away completely. But DRG, man, he just got Creep everywhere. There's not really much Beyond can do as far as Harass goes. Uh, DRG just has such a good field right now. He's able to move those Queens very quickly. He has a handful of Zerglings on the field that he's using in combination to really deny any sort of aggression. And DRG getting a Baneling Nest Infestation Pit, one one he's looking really really solid right now yeah he's doing really uh really well indeed and you know getting that plus one plus one as i was saying last time we were watching uh lucifron that is going to be able to help him out later on with the brood lords going to get those upgrades for the broodlings as soon as they spawn out they'll have probably three three yeah and actually look at this from beyond he's getting two medivacs and i'm wondering if he's going to do a drop with these hellions Ooh, very nice uh, detection from drg or a nice pickup he's actually going to completely deny this third command center going to force a cancel wasting a little bit of minerals hopefully beyond does get the cancel off and there it is again those 300 minerals back and the two medevacs are in the center of the field that the, it looks like the hellions are gonna have to return home or is he gonna go for some sort of aggression here yeah it looks like um drg is gonna poke in here but possibly seeing the huge amount of forces coming in yes with that overseer he is gonna have to pull back now though a bunch of bane links are being morphed in here wow. we have 10 but plus one plus one is also about to finish here for drg so actually beyond might be in a lot of trouble if he does lose this he's gonna lose a lot of map control and that third base is gonna be a lot harder for him to uh contain yeah and beyond actually stimming right there not sure if uh, how I feel about that actually wasting quite a bit of the medevac energy and ooh, a couple of overlords are out in the open here picking off a couple extra creep tumors doing a great job of course DRG does not have bane link speed uh, he is actually getting pathogen glands and he has quite a bit of mute or excuse me quite a bit of zerglings and bane links on the field I think he can hold this as long as he has good position with his units oh and that does throw uh, DRG oh. into the red but here come those oh. bane links trying to get the connects but the medevacs are there oh. they could possibly pick up all of these marines but a lot of these units are getting taken out the bane links don't even get any too uh, too many good connects on the Marines, but all the Hellions have been and completely evaporated. Now, there are Medivacs flying down to the center of the map again. Are those loaded up at all? They are not. Okay, just making sure that Beyond wasn't going to pull something out of his sleeve here. And surprisingly, he's just, he's getting 1-1. One, one. His 2-2 two, two will be started shortly. And actually, is he making, that's only his third command center. So, oh, actually, looks like DRG is going to clean up or try to clean up the remaining of the drop from Beyond, but Beyond's going to return home safely. Now, uh, yeah, 2-2, two, two, as you were mentioning before, is on the way. Uh, Beyond himself just about to finish up, plus one, plus one. In the next coming moments, the third base still has not been grabbed here. And we're moving on into the 12-minute mark as uh, DRG is grabbing his fourth base here. Mm -hmm. He's going to go up to Hive as well, so he's going to have up to up to eight gases if he can retain all of them. Actually, Beyond sacrificing quite a bit of Marines, not for any purpose, trying to take the Watchtower, I guess, but actually lost a lot of those units and not really doing a whole lot. Uh, DRG is to completely taking map control while he takes his Hive. Very, very nice move. That's Those are the kind of moves you really want to do. He's getting a Spire as well, so uh, just like we saw in the previous game, we're going to time this out perfectly. And still, that third base is still trying to go down there, but unfortunately, he's going to be run uh, <laughs> run into a little bit of a problem here as the Zergling is just going to hang out right there. And that is one of the most frustrating things you have to deal with. Absolutely. And it looks like actually right now, uh, Beyond's trying to land that command center, but of course, there is a Zergling in the way, so he's going to have to pull a couple units down there. But DRG is just all over this map right now, man. He's just trying to deny him from taking that third base while he can go up to four bases with five hatcheries and a hive. And he's already grabbing the gas geysers <laughs> uh, at that four base so I mean we can already see that he's gonna have so much gas already for these uh, broodlords as soon as they do want to come out um, there are all of the infestors now moving in as oh, well beyond oh. a bit of a problem as the 
Banelings get some great connects followed up by those infestation, uh, those fungal growths. This is really hard to watch, man. I love watching Ghost King play or Beyond play, but this is really hard to watch right now. There's the Siege Tanks now. They are gonna, they're in decent positioning, but they are getting completely decimated by these Zerglings. Infestors are still able to uh, keep or keep themselves alive, rather, and it looks like DRG is going to force the third to be lifted once again. This is really hard to watch. DRG is playing so incredibly yeah. brilliant right now. He's keeping that pressure alive. That fourth base is allowed to get up, and now he's got plus three, plus three, as well as adrenal glands on the way. His greater spires coming up. His zergling are going to be incredibly scary as the old brood war term cracklings coming <laughs> out. And uh, they are very, very formidable force against any type of Terran army. Now there is a little bit of a drop up here. It looks like he was able to do a little bit of damage. And actually, all of the Marines, except for one, oh, Aww. that poor guy is not going to be able to... Uh, he is the 1%. Well, he a is bit more the than 1%. Percent, but they <laughs> did get quite a bit of drone kills off, which is something that Beyond really needs right now. But now the Infestors are coming up. They sh if that drop tries to move anywhere, it's going to get completely cleaned up. Beyond finally able to take a third base, really needs a fourth base at this point. I mean, uh, DRG is going to take a fifth base in the center of the map, and he is in such a great position. Seven Corruptors on the way. Greater Spire is going to finish up just in time, and we are going to see a very, very scary composition from uh, DRG coming out here in just a few minutes with a ton, a ton of Infestors and Broodlords. Yeah, and with those Infestors and Broodlords, we have to look at what Beyond Prime has uh, in his in his army to really deal with that. He's got a lot of Marines. He does have the starport with the uh, reactor on it, but looking at the Viking count already, zero. Yep. As soon as those Broodlords start to come out, he's not going to have any real answer for it. He's got a lot of Marines, but even then, with all those Zerglings, all those Banelings, and all the King's Horses and all the King's Men, <laughs> I don't think Beyond Prime can come back again. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. And it looks like actually DRG is moving forward here, uh, just scouting out where uh, Beyond is currently. And one thing I, I want to know, Beyond has not made enough Siege Tanks in the mid-game. He's finally starting to produce them two at a time, and it's, it's really, at this point, it's a too little too late, in my opinion. He's going to actually have quite a bit for this engagement, but very nice fun coming out from DRG, cleaning up a good portion of the front... Uh, or the front line of the Marines. But right now, it looks like Beyond's going to try and take the Watchtower back. He has two siege tanks with this army, two more arm production. And there's the double starport coming down from Beyond. So he's going to be able to get the Viking count that he needs. But it might be a little bit too late here. Actually, a DRG moving forward, cleaning up a lot of the Marines. The siege tanks are still able to retain, but they are getting taken out as well. And did DRG lose all those infestors? No, he didn't actually burrowed and got most of them away. Yeah, he actually didn't lose um, a ton, except for the fact that all those Zergling did get completely evaporated. Um, but with the Broodlords now out, he does have an entirely different army coming out here. He might just go straight on into Infestor Broodlord, which is a very immobile army, but at the same time, the scariest army that a Terran can deal with. The Vikings are starting to come out here. Looking at the map, we have two Vikings on the map somewhere. But with the Broodlords already taking out the rest of the Siege Tanks, Beyond is losing so much. The food supply count, 173 to 127. And this composition from D DRG may be immobile, but at this point, DRG has split this map right down the middle. You can see the creep spread on both ends. He can maneuver his army up and down very, very quickly on position like this. And as well, his third and fourth base are very, very close to each other, so he can transition back and forth between them whenever he needs to. Uh, Beyond is getting 3-3 right now, so that's definitely, definitely going to help him out, but he's going to need a very, very high Viking count to, to you know, work with this army. Yeah, not only the high Viking count, but I mean, that 3-3 is actually incredibly delayed compared to uh, DRG's 3-3. He's had 3-3 for a while. He also has the Adrenal Gland upgrade. So these Zergling are incredibly scary, using them to be the mobility factor as the Broodlords are not able to do that. They are going to be able to buy some time before the Broodlords get all the way down to wherever the heck uh, Byun tries to make something happen. Uh, we can see all these Marines keep stimming up. They're very weak. Yeah, that's true. The medevac energy is going to start running dry, and as well, Beyond is building primarily Vikings with his starport, so, you know, that's definitely going to dwindle. He's not able to do any more drops at this point because there are so many corruptors on the field, and DRG is just in such a great spot. Beyond is actually the one who's being forced into an immobile position by DRG by pinning him down at that fourth base at the, the six o'clock, and now he's actually moving up the left side. Might try and do a Zergling run by, of course, like you were talking about. These are cracklings. They're 3-3 three, three with adrenal glands. So much DPS. If they are able to get into a mineral line, or if they are able to get up to the main, they will do so much damage. Indeed. Now, looking at the unit counting station, we only have eight Vikings still. That's an equal amount of Corruptors. Sorry, nine Corruptors are currently out right now. Uh, a couple of Viking shots are going down. Looks like he did take out, or try to take out, an Overlord. Now, the oh, Corruptors were a little bit overzealous. Did take a couple of hits, but now the Broodlords are moving in. There's only five of them, but five is a perfect amount in order to draw so much of the Terran food account, uh, food account into the anti-air. 
but all the fungal growths do go down, or at least one of them does go down on that large group of marines. The siege tanks are getting cleaned up, but there's a planetary fortress here. No, here's the thing. Beyond, if he holds this, he's in actually a really great spot. He actually did a huge drop at the north end of the map, and I believe it's doing quite a bit of damage because I haven't seen too much from DRG go up there, but I don't think it's going to matter at this point. It looks like Beyond is not going to hold. The last couple units for him are in the red, but here comes another wave of units, and Beyond is actually going to push this back. Can we take a look at the north end of the map? I just want to see if on the, the... Oh, actually, it looks like it didn't do any damage at all. Wow. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, so that's going to be really, really rough. So he's Beyond only to down to one guy on gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the deal breaker for him, and it looks like Beyond is actually trying to repair the planetary fortress at the 6 o'clock, but uh, at this point, DRG is currently sitting on, what, five bases? Six, five bases with six hatcheries, able to reproduce a very, very quick army, and actually four ultralists are in production, so very nice tech switch, uh, tech switch from DRG, actually forcing a ton of Vikings out of his opponent, now he's just going to rotate back, and at this point, I mean, Beyond doesn't really have any marauders on the field. But here comes a whole bunch of Zergling, going to be going on, right on into the natural base, no supply depots have been raised, oh, the Marines were blocking the one supply depot, but they did move out just in time, it looks like these Marines will be able to clean up the rest of those Zergling before they take out all of the production, but unfortunately the rest of the natural base is getting completely destroyed, and it doesn't look <laughs> like that uh, Beyond is going to be in a very good position oh, after this. He does get the scan down, he does know that there are some Zergling that are left, but uh, is he actually going to spend another scan to clean it up is the question. Maybe not. No, he is moving away, so those Zergling can pop up uh, later, and here comes those Ultralisks moving around. Very, very... They always seem very um, comical when they move around. Yeah, it's a little I bit awkward. Like, I feel like it's you know you need like a very tuba player. Like, <laughs> bo, 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 bo. And it looks like another Zergling run by has come by, or these might actually be the burrowed ones. This is what I was talking about earlier with these with these Zerglings. You maneuver across the map very quickly. Such high DPS. It looks like Bion is going to clean it up, but I mean, to what extent? He's down to 137 supply versus the basically capped version of DRG uh, currently with uh, several Ultras on the map. A couple Broodlords remain, and he's going to start massing those Infestors that we all love right now and uh, so <laughs> more banelings coming in and actually starting to get his flyer attacks level one as well and when i said a couple of banelings i meant a lot of them there are 14 more banelings now coming in here um as well as the ones that are already out they are roly-poly banelings they have speed so they're going to be very very deadly to the marine army here comes Ooh. all those ultralists powering beautiful. through all of the marines the infestors thrown down a beautiful amount of fungal growth and it looks like so much damage has been wow. done here GG from Beyond Pride. I gotta say, that, that Ultras Micro at the end was very, very nice. It's something a lot of people, they end up just getting forced into a really awkward point where they can't maneuver very well, but he did a good job of making sure that they made it past the siege tanks and actually focused on the unit that they need to kill, which of course is the Marine. So very well done from DRG there. Excellent, excellent game, and I'm actually really curious to see what map Yun's going to pick. Yeah, that's going to be one of those uh, very important things. It looks like it's going to be Ohana, so you know, pretty much uh, playing the same yeah. series again. Um, going to be another TVZ, but we're going to run to a quick commercial break. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sham2. And I'm Jay Morrow. We'll be right back with you.